I want to take just a quick moment and show you a very cool technique for helping you along as you are creating your selections here inside Photoshop. So we're going to take sort of a, a slight digression here, if you will. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to zoom in on one of the other washers that I have inside my pile of junk here, this washer here. And earlier you saw how to select an object like this using the elliptical marquee tool. Let's go back to that tool just for a second. And here's a trick that I want to show you. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a very sloppy selection. I'm not going to be very accurate at all. Something like this, right? And earlier, you might have started to get a little bit frustrated when you were trying to select your washer because it is tough trying to get a perfect selection. And I said earlier that you might have to take a couple of runs at it until you get a perfect selection. What I'd like you to do is purposefully make a sloppy selection like I've done here because there's a very, very cool command inside Photoshop that's going to allow us to adjust our selections. So what I'm going to do with my sloppy selection is I'm going to head up to the select menu here at the top. And then down towards the bottom of this menu, we have a command called transform selection. Go ahead and choose this guy. Now, as soon as I choose transform selection, what I get is this rectangular bounding box showing up around my marching ants. And you'll notice this guy's very similar to the crop tool. And as a matter of fact, he works in a very similar way. So I have these grab handles on the sides and in the corners, this kind of thing. And as I drag on these little handles here, you can see the marching ants, the selection inside the frame is adjusting. So all of a sudden what I can do is I can adjust my selection to be exactly the way I need it. And you're probably sitting there going, well, why didn't you show me this, you know, five minutes ago kind of thing. But anyway, I wanted to show you some of the other tricks there, the, the space bar and some of the other tricks there. So look at that, perfect selection, absolutely perfect. So come in here, you throw on a sloppy selection, you head into the select menu and then transform selection, and then you simply adjust your selection using these little handles, just like that. That's all there is to it. Now, do you remember from earlier on how to commit to a crop? Do you remember that? Well, the same keystroke would commit a transformation of our selection here as well. If you're thinking of hitting your enter key on the keyboard, you're absolutely correct. So just hit enter on your keyboard or you can double click inside your frame, perfect selection.